Every dog has his day. Okay, okay, I'm reloaded! Welcome to Inbounds, and I'm Jessica Anderson. I'm honored to introduce to you Jared Veld here, number 68, offensive tackle of the Oakland Raiders. Hi, Jared. Nice to see you. Glad you can be here today with us. Thank you. So Jared is from Grand Rapids, Michigan. He attended Forest Hills Northern High School in Michigan, where he was named Most Valuable Lineman of the Year. He also participated in football and in track. He then went on to Hillsdale College in Michigan, where he was also named Most Valuable Lineman in 08 and 07, and he is in his second season of the Oakland Raiders. So Jared, for those that don't know what your position is as an offensive lineman, um, can you explain to them what your responsibilities are? Yeah, you know, basically we protect the quarterback and uh, create holes for the runners. Okay, um, what's it like in the trenches? Uh, you know, it's, it's a battle every time. It's never like you can go in there and it's going to be soft. Uh, you always got someone that's uh, coming across the line to smack you, and you got to be the first one to smack them. So how do you train um, during your off-season? What are some workouts that you do? I uh, actually just last off-season opened up my own gym back in Michigan. Oh, wow. And, uh, exciting. Yeah, that's always kind of something that I've, you know, been real involved in is, you know, performance training outside of football to, you know, make myself better on the field. So do do a lot of uh, weightlifting, obviously, um, you know, some powerlifting, mixed with uh, body movement stuff um, and then work a lot of resistance stuff as far as uh, run blocking and pass blocking all that kind of stuff so try to incorporate some of the football stuff and not just you know keep it straight weights so your gym is in back in uh, Grand Rapids yeah uh, what's the name of, name of your gym power strength training systems power strength training systems awesome okay you grew up in Michigan you went to high school there how was your football experience um, when you were uh, going to college out there uh, it was great. At Hillsdale. It was great. You know, Hillsdale is a real small school. There's about mm -hmm. 1,300 students. But, uh, you know, awesome guys on the uh, football team, you know, made some lifelong friends there. And, uh, you know, very, uh, very good uh, coaching. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, learned some great lessons, you know, that I think have, uh, you know, really translated, you know, to this level as far as, you know, instilling a, a work ethic within the players, a discipline, and, uh, you know, just virtues that I don't think you can get at every uh, university. In high school, you also played basketball. How did, how do you think basketball has helped you become a better football player? You know, I think it's been really big as far as uh, footwork goes. Uh -huh. You know, I come from a basketball family. My, or, uh, my uh, dad and brother both played college basketball. So I was always, you know, playing hoops with them when I was younger. And, uh, you know, I think that really just translates as far as into like the footwork and agility and that kind of stuff. How important is it for 60 minutes of play for the youth? Oh, it's huge. You know, have to get out there and have to exercise. You know, it doesn't matter what it is as long as you're, you know, out there. You know, maybe, uh, you know, maybe you're playing a pickup game of uh, basketball or football, or maybe you're just, you know, checking out what's behind your house for the first time going into the, you know, if you got, you know, big backyard going in the woods and seeing what's out there, you know, you know, walking somewhere, you know, just being active, getting off the couch, you know, putting the video game controller down, put the remote control down. You know, just get outside, 
you know, uh, make some new friends, you know, uh, hang out with old friends, that kind of stuff. I think that's really big, you know, and it carries over as far as, you know, playing athletics, you know, because you're not, you're not going to build any, any skills that are useful on a football field just sitting inside and watching TV. Yeah, so for the kids that are watching, uh, explain to them why they must take their health seriously. Oh, you know, one of the biggest things is, as an athlete is, uh, is your body. You know, without that, you, you're nothing, really. Uh, so you have to, you know, make sure you take care of yourself, uh, you know, as, as far as doing the right things, exercising, eating properly. Uh, it's, it's vital. So what are some healthy foods that you prepare at home um, that, you know, that you can eat that are healthy? Yeah, I uh, eat a lot of chicken, um, and then uh, I like, uh, you know, to make it a little spicier, so I use a decent amount of hot sauce or buffalo sauce, because that stuff uh, is pretty uh, low in calories and, uh, you know, makes it taste pretty good if you've never tried that. And hot sauce tastes good on about anything, I think. Eggs, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, eggs, uh, you know, things that, you know, are high in protein or high in carbs, uh, you know, low in simple sugars and, and low in... Uh, in, so when you say high in uh, carbs, what are what are some foods? Like, <laughs> it's it's tough. It's tough to get a good carb sources if you're not preparing food yourself. But as far as like, uh, you know, I know here uh, they always have a mixed grain rice, which is good. Uh, you know, some kind of whole whole grain blended noodles, which are good. Um, you know, and then fruits and vegetables are really good too. Fruits are a good source of good carbs and vegetables as well. Good source of fiber. What are some words of wisdom that you uh, words of wisdom that you can recommend to student athletes who would like to pursue a professional career in sports? Uh, you know, just don't ever uh, give up on your dream. No matter, you know, uh, I come from a small school, you know, and there's probably not a lot of people that could think that, you know, somebody from a school of 1,300 kids could, you know, play in the NFL. But uh, you know, that's not for anybody to decide. But uh, but you really, I mean, you just gotta, you know, work hard at it. Don't let people tell you you can't. Just stick to your dream. Stick to your heart and. Uh, and you'll be surprised with what you get. Awesome, you got it here. Jared, thank you for your time. I'm Jessica Anderson with Inbounds, and we'll see you next time.